These audio effects won't only work in OBS Studio, but also outside of it. For example, in Discord, Zoom, your game chat. Trust me, this is the only video you need to watch to make your microphone sound as good as possible. My previous video on this topic has 1.2 million views and people have been asking me to make an update. So here it is now. I'm gonna be using the HyperX SoloCast. So many people wanted me to use this microphone because it's the number one best selling on Amazon and they think they need this mic to sound good. However, this one is almost half the price. I've used this mic before in a console streaming setup and I was really impressed with the quality. I'm gonna use this microphone together with a boom arm. This is a really cheap one. I will link it in the description because using a microphone arm is the single best upgrade you can make to your mic. I mean, listen to this difference. When the mic is standing on your desk, you're about this far away from the microphone. And in order to sound loud enough, you will need to boost the volume and then it will sound kind of like this. However, listen to the difference when I go closer and closer to the microphone. Also, the closer you are to the mic, the less background noise you will have because the microphone needs to be less sensitive. You're really close, so your voice is extremely loud, so you can lower the sensitivity of the microphone. But this also means that the volume of background sounds will be reduced. By the way, these effects will obviously work with any mic. People just always ask me for mic suggestions, so currently this here is a big favorite of mine. I will obviously link the microphone arm, this microphone, and some other options in the description for different price points. And I'm gonna switch to this microphone. Okay, and what you hear now should be this HyperX solo cast. Now it immediately sounds much more thin, however, we will fix all that. Now there's one really important thing for any microphone with these type of microphone stands. Listen to what happens when I tap it. You can probably hear like the big booming sound and it keeps going in the background. And the reason is that these cheap microphone arms are not really reducing vibrations. So because of that, what you will need is a shock mount, like on the HyperX Quadcast. And this shock mount is simply holding the microphone and reducing vibrations because these things are the only thing that are connected directly to the microphone. Now I found one of these on Amazon. As you can see, this is the microphone. And this here is a universal shock mount that works with a mic. It's only $11 and it will work with any microphone you buy after that. Oh wow, look at that. Apparently the HyperX SoloCast is even cheaper than I expected. Now I'm gonna move this beacon mic out of the frame. Now before we make this microphone sound absolutely amazing with all of these filters, I need to thank the amazing sponsor of this video which is perfect for budget streamers. Paying a designer to make you a custom stream overlay is extremely expensive and absolutely not worth it when you're starting out. However, making your stream look interesting and alive is really important. So that's where Owned Pro comes in. Owned Pro is a free OBS Studio plugin that has a bunch of stream design packages all ready to install in one click. A few of their packages are always free and then if you upgrade the plugin you get access to hundreds of stream designs that are all animated, they have overlays, they have alerts, they have labels for recent follower, top donation, all that stuff. Even things like a countdown timer and for one subscription you get access to all of those packages. You can just switch between all of them and then see which one you like and that way your stream is never gonna be boring and it's way cheaper than paying a designer. With my code TVN you get 50% of the price the link will be on top of the description and also right here on the screen if you want to check out the free obs studio plugin owned pro you should click on that link and check it out for free okay now before making this microphone sound amazing with all of these filters here there are two things you absolutely need to do we're gonna have to make sure that before applying all the filters the volume is right here about in the yellow but before doing that you need to make sure that you're talking into the right side of the mic you will not believe how many people get this wrong some mics record from the front other mics record like this in this direction an example is the razor siren mini so once you know you're talking Talking to the right side for me it's like completely into the front but I'm turning it a bit because I want to speak over the microphone because if you speak into the mic and you make like a sound you will hear that plosive and when I turn it a bit and I talk over the mic so like it's recording like this but I'm speaking like this in that case when I do p you will not have that plosive. And so then after that, we need to make sure that the volume here is about right. If it looks like this when you're talking, you have a problem. And if it goes completely into the red, that's even worse. Now, the first thing you need to do is right clicking your audio icon here, going to sounds, then to recording. Then you double click your microphone, you go to levels. And then this is the first place where you need to change the volume before adding or removing gain and stuff in OBS with filters. So I did set the mic to 50% gain here. If I just move it to 100, you will see in OBS that I'm going into the red. And it's kind of distorted. Distorting. And so I'd say move it to the left and then just talk like you would on stream and then gradually move it to the right until the volume is like at the end of the yellow, maybe a bit before that. And that's the perfect starting point for all the filters we're going to add. If I shout now, hey, it's going to peak. And if I talk really quiet, it's going to be a bit too quiet. So this is the perfect starting point. We can now go to the filters because this is really exciting. All of these filters will make this mic sound amazing. And the first filter you can add is a gain filter. And so there will be people that did set their microphone 
down to 100% and that are still not at the end of the yellow here. In that case, you can add a gain filter here in OBS and then you can just add gain right here artificially. However, it's better to do it in the audio settings. Now for everyone, the order of all these filters is extremely important and the first thing you need to add is noise suppression. A lot of people first add all the effects and then noise suppression, but what you're doing then is amplifying all the noise that's within the audio and then afterwards trying to remove it. However, you should remove the noise first and then use the clean voice audio to add all the effects. You click on OK and there are a bunch of options. That is if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. If you don't, you will need to use one of these two options. All of these work the same. You click on it and then you just choose the suppression level. The harder you suppress the noise, the more it will affect your voice. You should play around with which one sounds better to you or an noise has no options. And then if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, the noise removal is absolutely amazing and it will barely affect your voice quality. Now, to be fair, this noise removal is absolutely perfect for normal stuff. Now, if my editor boosts my volume a bit, you will hear the noise and then you will hear how good this is. As you can see, it completely removes background noise, so that's perfect. The reason you would want to use NVIDIA noise removal is that this removes everything from the background, even people talking, a truck driving by. It's absolutely crazy, but this one is great as well. By the way, real quick, if you're not hearing your own microphone, I completely forgot, you can just go to the audio mixer, press one of these icons, go to advanced audio properties, and then next to your microphone source, you just want to change it to monitor and output, and then you will hear your microphone like I'm doing right now. We want to use a new filter that's new with this update, Three band equalizer and this is a perfect filter to change how our voice sounds so we have the highs the mids and the lows and as you can see when i add the lows while i'm talking i will add a lot of bass to my voice and if i remove it my voice will sound much more thin i'm gonna set it to zero then the highs this is to sound much more crisp as you can see this is kind of like a radio voice it's way too much if you lower the highs then this sounds really like muffled i don't know if that's a word and then the mids this is really hard to explain but when you reduce the mids a bit you will always sound a bit more broadcasty like a bit more professional however if you overdo it that's definitely not something you want to do but in general i'd say reduce the mids a bit then maybe add a bit to the highs and then the lows this will depend on your microphone and your voice if you have a really low voice then adding some lows here will probably be way too much however if you say i have a really thin voice and i want to sound a bit more like warm and low then you can absolutely add a bit of this here and you just want to listen to yourself and then find the sound you want to go for i reduce the mids even more you definitely need to be careful with this but as you can hear when I disable this my voice sounds much more hollow and then when I enable it it sounds much more like a podcast voice so our voice sounds much better already however the really important filters are gonna be the compressor and then the expander what these two filters are doing is making sure that your audio is always at the same volume when you talk really quiet your audio will be boosted and then when you talk really loud or you scream or you rage on stream your audio will always be pulled back down so that it's always in the same range for the viewer now setting up the expander is very straightforward to change this ratio to 3 you set the attack to 1 millisecond. You set the release to 100. Then you move this threshold slider all the way to the left. And now what you gotta do is look at this audio mixer here. And you wanna talk as quiet as possible. The quietest you would ever talk on stream. Because this expander works like a noise gate. And what we're trying to do is making sure that sound around our microphone will not be loud enough to trigger the mic. And so make sure that the mic only activates when it hears our voice. Which is really close to the mic and which will be very loud. So you look at the audio mixer and before finding that sweet spot you want to talk really quiet and you just want to move the output gain to the right and add gain until the quietest you would ever talk on stream is making this mixer here go to the end of the yellow so i'm gonna talk really quiet now and i'm gonna move the output gain slider to the right until this sound is going to the yellow here and so now no matter how quiet i talk the sound will always be loud enough for the stream and what you want to do next is go to the threshold slider here and now you want to find a point where your voice is barely triggering the microphone so i'm gonna move the threshold slider to to the right and at some point my voice is gonna become really really quiet like now so i want to go back to the left again so maybe at this point here if i talk really quiet so maybe at like minus 32 as you can see my voice is triggering the microphone the voice is loud enough to make it activate and while i'm talking you will hear my hands clapping however when i stop talking the hands won't be loud enough to trigger the mic. So now that we're always going to be loud enough on stream, the next thing we got to worry about is when we scream, as you can see in the audio mixer, 
Hey, we are still peeking outside of the red. And so to fix that, we want to add a compressor filter. Again, I'm going to disable it, change the ratio to three, the threshold all the way to the right, set the attack to one millisecond, the release to 100. And then now all we got to do is just shout into the microphone. You will see that it will go into the red. And then you just move the threshold to the left until your shouting is not making this audio peak anymore. So as you can see at zero, hey, it's peaking. However, if I change the threshold to like minus 15, Hey, it is not peaking anymore. So now my quiet sounds will go to the end of the yellow and then my shouting won't move past this point here. And that means that I will always be the same volume on stream. Now, before we add the next filter, I want to say something really important because if you go back to the expander here, I did change the threshold for recording this video. Actually, I changed it right now, which is way too late. But the reason I changed it is that things like a noise gate or an expander that cut out audio that's way too low, these also have negative effects and mainly that you can hear it when it's opening the gate for the audio so when our expander filter here which is our noise gate when it is closing the gate of the microphone for the incoming audio and then it triggers when we speak you will always hear it kind of opening kind of a pop kind of a delay like the first part of your first letter that you're speaking into the microphone won't really get recorded and you can hear it when i make this effect stronger so if i talk and then not talk. If I talk in this way, you will definitely hear the gate opening and closing. So making this effect way too harsh will definitely have an impact. So you want to find the balance. And it also depends on how bad you want to remove keyboard sound when you're not talking and stuff like that. Another filter you definitely need to add after adding all these filters. Let me see here a limiter. Now what this does is really simple. A limiter just limits your sound when it goes above a certain volume. And we just want to move this threshold all the way to the right. Then press this one time for minus 0.1. This limit is just a final fail safe when you look at the audio mixer minus 0.1 is right here all the way at the end which means that when your audio is going past the end of the red then it will just get limited however this will barely happen because we did add a compressor that pulls our audio down it's just in the case where like the microphone would fall on the table for example and it would make a really loud sound for the viewers in that case the sound will get limited it will sound distorted but it won't blow out your viewers ears now if you want to use these effects that we just applied in discord or somewhere else it's actually pretty easy so the first thing you do is you go to your browser and you look for virtual cable it's from vbaudio.com it is completely free you just download it and you go to your downloads folder you just extract it and then you look for vb cable 64 bit so you right click run as administrator and then you can just install virtual cable you click on install so now you want to go to your settings you go to audio and then on the bottom you will see monitoring device and this is the device that i'm using right now to monitor my audio from the microphone however we want to change this and we want to choose cable input vb audio virtual cable this is what we just installed it's literally a virtual cable so we are sending the monitor mix to this cable and then we will connect this cable to discord or another program so now this microphone together with all the filters we just installed is going to the virtual cable and then for example in discord by the way this is a new server i made we have 1.3k members here the previous one had around 40,000 members but i wanted to start a clean new active community so this is it we talk about streaming gaming setups all that stuff however However, let's set up the microphone now you go to your settings then to voice and video this is an example by the way you can use any program and then as your input device so as your microphone you now choose cable output vb audio virtual cable and i'm gonna click on let's check and as you see when i'm talking the microphone is arriving right here this was a really popular question by everyone who watched my previous video can we use this in discord i forgot to talk about it but hey this is how to do it your friends will be very impressed by how good you're sounding if you want to learn anything else about obs studio i have a free skill Share course you can see the link in the description you get one month for free on skillshare you can watch my course then just cancel the subscription you won't have paid anything and i'm going over everything you need in that course and besides that thank you so much for watching i hope i will see you in my next video have a nice day